guys. We we finally got him back. We we finally have him back, man. I've waited years to see a reality where where Thomas Tuchel is managing my club, but we take the country, I guess. That will do. That will do for the first time we have an appointment that I believe in. We've got Super Tommy Toko. He knows exactly what we need. Cole at the back. Palmer in attack. We gotta figure out the last line because like there's no league. Chelsea gonna England gonna win the Nations League. Aye, that might do. <laughs> that might do still. There we go. There we go. We just made a new chant. Big up to every single one of you that's locked in. Wow. Just as soon as we finish the FIFA stream that we're not going to discuss, we get hit with a Fabrizio Bomber. This ain't really the time period for here we goes. But here we go. <laughs> here we go. Thomas Tuchel has completed the agreement to become new England manager. Terms agreed, contract set to be signed with an official statement expected soon. Tuchel opened doors to the England job back in July. So probably straight after the last Euros. And it's now a done deal as the Times Sport reported. Here we go. Here we go, guys. So this was initially reported by the Times. Um, Who, who was the guy? It was Joyce... And Northcroft, I think he's the one who initially posted. He said, Tuchel has agreed to become the England manager. An unveiling is expected this week. We will be there. After a rapid conclusion to negotiations, the UCL winning former Chelsea manager will become Chelsea's first German boss. The appointment of Tuchel will end the uncertainty that has swirled around the England post since Gareth Southgate's resignation in the summer. Um, Tuchel has been out of work since leaving Bayern at the end of last season. Um, were made last month. Moves for him was made by Mark Bullingham, close to Bellingham, the FA chief executive and technical director John McDermott. For the FA, there is an added coup of appointing a manager in demand from several of Europe's leading clubs, notably Manchester United. And by the way, this is where I want to start off. I don't have to worry about Tuchel man managing Manchester United. This might be an even bigger W than him taking the England job. I don't have to see him managing the Ops. I get to see him manage my nation instead. And I swear, if, if we don't bring a trophy home under Thomas Tuchel, it's never happening. It's never happening. But it, it's done. And like, like I mentioned earlier, when Tuchel got sacked, it was probably one of the most heartbreaking moments that I've had as a Chelsea fan. Now, I say like I, I got to terms with it relatively quickly because welcome to Chelsea. Managers get sacked. Get over it. But Tuchel, that one hit right in the heart. That one hit right in the heart because of how unexpected it was. And also because, like, yeah, I get it. The form over the last six months wasn't good, but that squad was absolutely rubbed out. Be it under Tuchel, under Potter, under anybody, that squad was failing. The fact that we got rid of him that early, can't agree with it. You either sack him immediately as soon as you walk in the door at the end of the season. Uh, I want to bring this tweet up for you guys. I don't know if you guys remember this. One of the most difficult statements he ever had to write. I think it's still his last tweet um, since then. Does he still follow Chelsea only? Ah. Oh. Guys, guys, and now he is managing our nation. Now he is managing our nation. I am very excited. And I don't usually get excited and gassed when it comes to England. And that shows how big of a move this is for the nation. Because we actually have a cup winner. We actually have a, a cup manager. And the nerve of some people who have tried to use Tuchel being a cup manager as a stick to beat him with is ridiculous. Like, oh no, a, a manager who only prioritizes or specializes in winning domestic cups. What a problem that is. But we don't even have to worry about that. This guy now 
does not have to deal with any issues with the board like he's done at his old clubs or any issues with transfers. No transfer debates, no board um, breakups, nothing like that. All he has is a squad of good players that he can set up in his own way. And yes, I get it. He is a defensive coach. It is not nearly as bad as Gareth Southgate. This guy actually comes with a better system. He comes with much better game management. This man comes with ruthlessness. He doesn't do favoritism FC. He is happy to fall out with a few players or to humble them, which is exactly what England need as a nation. Not what Southgate was doing in the last tournament, where it was just, right, we have to put Bellingham in the team. We have to put Foden in the team. Harry Kane has to make the team. No. It's simply going to be, do you fit my system? Yes or no. And if you don't fit the system, go sit on the bench. Simple as that. And also, he understands the Premier League very well, has a very good understanding of English culture. Like we've said as well, knockout specialist, which is something that England have been craving for for decades. Like, literally since 1966. I get it. People are going to say, oh, but we've made finals already before. That Euros tournament is like one of the fakest tournaments i've seen for england every single game we look like getting knocked out every single game we survived and then we made it to spain and people were acting like we we're gonna do something against them hell no hell no i'm very excited to see how we set up because defensively we should be rock solid but by the left side we might have to figure out what we're gonna do with the left back but there is actual options that we could try and go to instead of just Luke Shaw or throw a centre-back at left-back or throw Trent there. Hopefully, Tuchel will be able to figure out what the right player is. As long as it ain't Ben Chilwell, we're good. Although, tell a lie, man, maybe Tuchel will be able to get a tune out of Ben Chilwell again. That would definitely be the mark of a miracle worker. But I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I know not everybody's like that, though, because I did see this going around um, earlier just before we got the announcement that Tuchel is taking over the job. England must be English down to the kit man. Yeah. We don't need Tuchel. We need a patriot who will put this country first, second, and third. And look, I I've had this debate before. I've spoken with Rance about this on a stream like a couple months ago. And I do understand the narrative that in international football, you should be winning. You should be progressing in tournaments with everybody from your nation. You shouldn't be having to rely on other individuals from other nations to be able to take your team across the line. Now, I understand that. I just don't care. I'll be so real with you guys. I don't care. Do you want to know why? Because I want to see England win something. I want that generational night out that we were promised in 2021. Because we didn't get it. We didn't get it and we were lucky to even make it to penalties in that match. So, I don't give a damn. I, I understand the narrative. But when a man like Thomas Tuchel is available, you go collect him because you need to go and win trophies. Like, yeah, England fans might have to park up the 10 German bombers chant. Please, but let's not make things a little bit too awkward. Past that, I don't give a damn because look at our options. Look at our options if we want to talk English managers. Eddie Howe is still at Newcastle, so that's a maybe about potentially getting him in the job. Sean Dyche, no. Mark Robbins, no. Roy Hodgson, get in the bin. Sam Allardyce ain't going to be welcomed back after the whole controversy last time. Um, Michael Carrick is like that's a big ass step up from him from Middlesbrough to literally taking the England job. The only available option that's even semi realistic is Graham Potter, and Graham Potter's still getting his payout money from the Chelsea sacking. So, who else is there? Chris Wilder. Why is Guardiola there, by the way? I, I, I don't understand that one at all. Lampard and Gerrard. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> All due respect to Super Frankie Lampard, but he ain't a super gaffer. So, is this what we want to bring? 
Is this what we want to bring instead? Or are we just going to suck up our pride and be like, yeah, you know what? We had to look a little bit further than our borders to try and find somebody that might be able to take football home. Man are doing it's coming home every two years for the only thing to come home being the England squad. Let, let's suck up our pride for once. Because we act like football is predominantly English made and everything and we run football but we don't ever win anything. We never win anything. We have one literal trophy in English football history and it's a World Cup. One World Cup. That's it. How about we just try and like win it regardless of who the manager is? I don't care. I don't care. The players are English. There you go. That works for us. That works for us. We have a man that took PSG to their only UCL final. We have a man who won the UCL with Chelsea, conceding the least amount of goals for a winning team since 1994. Also won the Club World Cup. Also won the Super Cup. He took the worst Bayern team in the last decade to a semi-final, only to lose in controversial fashion to Real Madrid, and we want to complain. We have an England squad that's capable of going the distance. How about we stop trying to handicap them for once? For once. But no, 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 it's, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. He's not English enough. Shut up. Shut up. Shout out to Tommy Tuchel. My gaffer, like I have never been more locked into England games in my entire life than I am right now. And yeah, big up to Tommy Tuchel, man. I, I hope that you are the one to bring it home. Absolute Chelsea legend. Let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below, guys. Don't forget to hit the likes, subscribe, all of that crap. And yeah, up the Chelsea or up the England. England, England, Chelsea, up the Chelsea.